Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I appreciate all of the support on yesterday's video. If you haven't checked that one out, guys, make sure you go check it out. It is a video on how to start FIFA 22. I really felt good about the video. That's probably, you know, I've been really working on the YouTube content for you guys, and I really want to level it up for you guys this year. I want it to be super, super good, super entertaining. And I, I felt so good about yesterday's video. It felt like one of the best videos that I posted all year. I just felt like I really did a good job explaining stuff. So if you want to check that out, check it out. And to the, those that have checked it out, thank you guys for the support. Now, today's video, uh, look, man, we're only posting new content. I, I, when I woke up, I wasn't going to post anything today. I was going to take the day off because I was like, you know what? We didn't get a lot of news. But since about 8 a.m., we have gotten a lot of news. Um, so, yes, we're going to dive into it right now. And what do you see saying, Nick, you haven't streamed this weekend. Guys, there's not too much to stream. We did a lot of streams last week looking at the FIFA 22 news. And I don't really get the ability to play the game until Wednesday. So kind of using some time. I might have a stream tomorrow and then probably off on Tuesday because obviously some people will be playing the game and we use that final set of rest. I actually spend my Saturday, guys, quick little you know message here, going through all of these childhood cards. I used to collect Pokemon cards, like NBA cards. I found some crazy cards over like 3,000. I haven't gone through them in over 10, 15 years. So I spent my whole Saturday going through all that. It was a lot of fun, uh, but it was tedious at the same time because I was sorting and, and seeing what was worth what, and it was just a lot. So that's how I spent my Saturday. But without further ado, we're, we're going back into the FIFA 22 news. So first of all, as you guys can see from the first minute and a half of me absolutely blabbering, that we did get Wayne Rooney as a confirmed icon, which is pretty sick. Um, Wayne Rooney's a, a guy that's awesome, right? And such a good footballer in real life. It's awesome to see that he is the icon. Um, that we are going to get now based on some of the earlier leaks as well I do expect that we were going to get a couple mid-year icons this year This is my theory. We've got four right now and most FIFA's in the beginning EA always give about 10 to 12 icons um, So it, it is a little bit low this year although we are getting 20 heroes. I do see EA dropping uh, Stefano, I think he's gonna come in the game uh, Definitely, I think there's gonna be a couple of icons that We already have some in-game stats for that will be released as the year uh, progresses one that I really want to see and I don't know maybe if it's a hero or an icon I want to see Yaya Toure man. That's a big one that I want to see um, So yeah, Wayne Rooney got announced and flipping uh, we love flipping they have the baby They have the mid and they have the prime. Uh, I don't want to spend too long on it guys because you know how it is man We don't want to spend too long talking about new features, but uh, I don't know what Wayne, Ro Wayne Rooney's skill moves and weak foot are um, That doesn't really look like it was announced. I think he's probably gonna be 3-4 uh, with three-star skills and four-star weak foot. I could be wrong, though. Um, his baby card does 83 pace, 86 dribbling, 87 shooting, 87 passing, 59 defending, and 85 physical. But what we learned this year in FIFA 21, and if you're new to my channel, in FIFA 21, we had an end-of-an-era Rooney card. And what we learned is that he's actually a really good center mid um, with a defensive chemistry style. So I think you could probably expect the same thing. Rooney's most usable position is probably going to be a box-to-box -box center mid. And you're like, Nick, he only has 59 defending. How is that possible? Well, because of the physical that Rooney offers, and usually the stock type in game he's a very nice center mid because of his ability to track down runs make runs in the attack and uh win the ball and then his mid obviously his mid is a lot better than his baby with the 90 pace the 90 shooting i mean that's just crazy um so nice to see a pretty relevant mid icon uh, 87 dribbling 86 physical how much better is that than the baby so he loses nine defending uh he gains one dribbling he gains one physical seven pace uh three shooting but he actually loses six passing but man that mid is looking like quite the attacker it's looking really good and then we take a look at the 91 which is actually a plus three and the 91 you know it does have plus one dribbling it actually has plus three physical defending's going back up passing's up a little bit and shooting's up and and paces up a little bit so primary looking nice a lot of people really upset that he's a little underrated um yeah maybe maybe another rating for rooney would have been nice 92 for the prime and 93 for the moments maybe something like that would have been better um but again wayne rooney still looks pretty usable uh in this upcoming game so if you're a wayne rooney fan if you're a manchester united fan there you guys have it, man. Wayne Rooney's going to be in FIFA next year. Um, wanted to talk about a couple other things that we're now learning and uncovering from FIFA 22. Uh, first of all, I talked to you guys yesterday, and Anonymous actually tweeted me because he saw the video. Shout out to all these guys on Twitter providing information, man. You guys are the GOATs. Um, you know, it, it's huge to the community. We love looking at this stuff. Um, quick sell loan item value has been removed by EA, and I'm specifically telling you guys this today because I don't want you to go flame this dude who posted about this because in my video two days ago, there was a little bit of a leak. I think I actually said in yesterday's video that you could quick sell loans, which is that whole concept of that is kind of crazy, guys. I mean, 
it's pretty nuts like that that would have been able to happen and, and that hasn't happened in previous years so he basically is coming out today basically saying it has been removed by ea which does make sense i was kind of assuming this and it's kind of funny when we told you guys that the ones watch player pick was coming within a day they removed it and when i told you that this was happening two days ago it got removed within a day so either i'm highlighting their mistakes or they're realizing hey these guys are too happy about this man we got to get rid of it we got to make people pissed off at our game i don't know all right so moving on more exciting stuff to talk about guys uh communicado official from uh foot spy and this one is about the new foot draft rewards now i told you guys a couple days ago that foot draft is gonna see a revamp in rewards and i actually believe that all game modes this year are gonna have a massive rewards revamp and the reason i say that is because well although the game modes are not gonna be that different this year we got foot draft division rivals foot champs it's pretty similar all the modes have a whole different time spent on them, different progression, bar foot draft. They're just changing the foot draft rewards. But again, as I said, foot champs, it's shrinking in games, right? You're going to even have like a midweek structure to it now. Rivals, that's going to be the mode where people are qualifying to events. You've got the elite division. You've got 10 divisions. Everyone starting in 10. So rewards are going to have to be different next year. And a lot of people were like, dude, it's not going to happen. EA's so lazy. I agree with you because they didn't change F all for three years. And I wish I could say the F word, but I'm not because... I'm going to lose money on this video and shout out to the viewer in the last video that said that he was upset. How could I, as a YouTuber, put any ads in my video? I should not make money off my content. Shout out to you, bro. I'm just giving a shout out to you. The rest of you guys, I love you guys though, man. All right. Um, listen though, back to the, back to the subject. All right. We sidetracked. Now there's going to be new foot draft awards. I haven't even seen these. So let's check these out and shout out to foot spy. So we got a jumbo premium gold pack, including two 83 plus players. This is a 15 K pack, um, draft reward pack four. So this is cool. It'll probably be set for a certain amount of wins, three or four or a certain amount that you get in draft. And then that's what you get, which makes the FIFA points that you might get all that more usable. Um, another, another one here, a premium gold players pack, a 25 K pack with two 83 plus players. Pretty nice, right? Because you got a three rare uh, requirement in those. You get 12 players, nine non-rares. Draft pack three. Draft pack two, a premium gold players pack, including a guaranteed 83 plus pack. Nice, right? Same thing, 25. 25 with an 82 plus pack draft pack reward one. So clearly, the fourth one or the third are the best ones, right? That's how you would look at it. Um, now, the one concern I have is that are these going to be a structured requirement where if you hit a certain amount of wins, this is definitely what you're getting? Or is this just going to be thrown into the blender? with all the other packs could it still be that it's like when they added ea added or not added but initially with foot draft obviously you have that crazy reward where you can win forty five thousand coins and a 50k pack i think for winning the draft is it going to just be thrown into the lottery of those types of rewards and maybe you get this one out of every like 15 wins because a lot of you guys watching this video and me even at the start it's hard to win foot drafts man it is really hard and some of you guys who watch this video you won't even win one but you're looking at the foot draft saying hey if i can get two three wins it might be worthwhile so we got to see with that we have to be updated just a little bit with that. We talked about the quick sell value. Storyline cards. Now, look, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of leaks, guys. I don't want to be that dude that ruins everybody's, like, experience. The fact is that there's people on the game right now. People are playing FIFA 22. People have the game early. It's not even just the game changers. People are on this game. They're playing. And this word has gotten out. It's all over Twitter. So when a leak stems this far, I'm going to share it with you guys. When I'm seeing that this specific tweet has 1,300 likes you know, multiple people are tweeting out about this. This is from FIFA Foot 22 News. I'm going to let you guys know what we're seeing on Twitter just so you guys are not left out. So these are the storyline cards. Basically, if you are new to FIFA, every every season is like 30 to 60 days, and then there's levels. So every time you do objectives, you get XP, and then you can unlock levels. You got packs, players. This looks like the level 30, I think, or 15, but I think it's probably 30 um, for the storyline. Now, I can tell you that Davidson is a four-star, four-star player. He had a team of the season last year. Uh, Pedro Poro, it's a Liga Nos right back. Not a bad card. And we've got an MLS striker. None of these cards honestly look that good. And the problem with these cards, and I'm just going to come out and say it, is that a lot of the time, a level 30 reward takes 45 days to unlock. So you might not get these guys till literally like the end of October. That's a little bit of a problem because to be honest, their cards are kind of shit. If I'm going to choose out of this, it's probably going to be the left, left mid or the right back. Obviously, the MLS guys are a little bit harder to link, but it just depends. Let's check out the in-games. We'll wait till we get kind of a little bit more information on this type of stuff, and then we'll talk about it as it becomes more relevant, obviously. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to be super negative. Um, and then Team of the Week 1. I wanted to talk about Team of the Week 1 to you guys because Team of the Week 1 has been mad. We've got a lot of performances. I watched the Bayern game yesterday. You guys know I'm a fan of Bayern. Sonny Rukimic is definitely going to get an inform, which is nice. Um, people are saying... 
People think Leon Bailey's got a really nice chance. We talked about him in my insane, like, overpowered players. His gold card is crazy. Um, we've got a lot, a lot of nice predictions. A lot of people thinking Tony might get in. It's going to be a good team of the week. And it's going to be one of those team of the weeks where if EA really want to sell pack money, if they really want to do something special with team of the week one, they can. They could definitely drop a lot of crazy cards in team of the week one and get away with it. There was a lot of players in this weekend that had, like, one goal, maybe two assists. Not maybe a convincing normal team of the week performance because usually you got to get a brace. You know, defender, you got to get a goal and a shutout. There's a lot of scenarios, I think, where EA could really kind of throw someone in just to get that extra bit of money early on. So that'll be really interesting to see. Um, Van Dyke was in the potential. I think Ronaldo today, a lot of people were talking about Ronaldo. Um, I, I think Messi's a prediction because Messi's even played yet today by the time I'm recording this video. Although he's, I think he's making his home debut at 245. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of nice, a uh, lot of nice options. People were also talking about. I think also Haaland might get one because he did he was on a goal and it looks like now he's on two goals. There's also a Dutch center back that has like 83 pace that people are talking about. So that's really the main you know majority of news I have for you guys today. I do want to check flipping popular. There's obviously some new cards getting added. We've got Mukieli there. Lamer's going to be a really nice starting center mid again. He was my starting center mid last year. Uh, Joe Cole is trending today. Malin's got a nice card. So obviously day by day, there's being even more cards added to the database. I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos, we were, we were on that other database. But actually, there's players under that 77 rating that the database cut off that are getting added. So we really get to look at the cheap starter players and kind of see who it is. Uh, this was the guy that I was talking about. Dutch center back, Timber. Apparently this guy might get in this team of the week and if that happens that's mad right if he ends up getting a team of the week that's gonna be a crazy card so i'm really looking forward to fifa 22 guys i'm really looking forward to grinding away with you guys it is unfortunately still a couple days for me um i'm actually working on trying to find some sort of back door so that for content purposes when wednesday starts i can actually get on the full game not really have to deal with the 10 hours i'm working my best it's really hard obviously you guys know I'm quite limited as a creator because I do sacrifice my ability to work with EA. It is what it is, guys. Um, you know the vibes. And then I think other than that, that's really about it. Um, that's really about it. I don't think I've missed too much. But it's a lot of exciting stuff, man. And I'm really excited to kind of kind of dig into the gameplay. I haven't played any of the... I haven't even played the beta. I haven't seen any gameplay. Uh, I'm going to really do a, try to do a good job of the next couple of days, like removing myself and, and really being able to kind of start my grind on my own and, and, and do my own thing. Like, I don't want to know anything what's going on with this game. I just want to hop on, uh, you know, whenever I do get to hop on and just like have that first time experience with you guys. Um, plans for the channel though, guys, this week, you just let me know what you want to see. Uh, I'm, I'm checking the comments. The last couple of videos, I've been, you know, talking to a lot of you guys. Anything you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. We can kind of have a chat, figure out what's going to work best. Uh, and thank you guys again for watching my video. Thank you guys for watching me sit in my web browser and talk about FIFA 22. I love you guys. Almost broke my mic. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.